Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. The legend has returned. The War Horse Studios is back. Uh, for their first game, they created one of my absolute favorite games ever. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now it's time for their new game reveal. I'm really excited. I hope, I hope, I hope. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Okay, five more minutes and then we're on. Okay, and you know I have to do this. Henry's here to see us. I hope. Let's go. Hmm, it began. <clears throat> One more minute, kurva! Wait, kurva! Come on, come on! Peggy 18 Nice! <laughs> yep. When it seems you're out of luck, there's just one man who gives a fuck. <laughs> A friend will never leave you stuck. Now who can that friend be? Come on, sir, Hans. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while, but now we can finally show you. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. <laughs> yes. of leaving this place. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life? It can end before it gets started. Congratulations tonight! You finally become a man. Stop! Wake, Wake up. up! Pull yourself together, Henry. anything on a platter to men like you and me you still have a long way to go till your work is done or 
merciful God. Be kind and protect us, so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Krittenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD 2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years, which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in this royal city of Gutenberg, where the majority of this game takes place. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. God, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry, yes. a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because <laughs> he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience <laughs> and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing. And I think Hans Hen really helps him to do that. Whew. You were right about our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level which we always wanted. The game is much bigger in scope. Original game we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five. Regarding the size of the world, it's two times bigger than it was. Whoa. The story is longer and much more epic. So previously it was about an issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kinks. This is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first, in my opinion. I think it's, I think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and, and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going, right, let's see what you're made of. This is going to be so much fun. Henry is a young guy, so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that oh all boy. means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can mm -hmm. save the world or you can help punish it for its sins. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion, and we want you to feel the sword in your hand. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies on the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. As far as uh, missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows. Also, nice. some early firearms. Yep. Kingdom Come feels like the good old school RPGs. 
It will always surprise you what you can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat, you can be a sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems, you can be a charming knight, you can be a thief, you know, a scoundrel. Anything you do will be recorded, people will remember it. If they saw you do that, our crime system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street. And mm -hmm. now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. If you do a lot of criminal stuff around the village, people will start to be suspicious. They will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into like greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. We are moving to different places, so one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really beautiful nature with uh, quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge silver mining, very rich city. So there's this big city. The Kuttenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, we are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> we are trying to go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine and war. It was really like colorful. Like uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments. Like players should go and explore all those like little woods and beautiful rocks and castles. The thing that I love about the game most is just wandering around because the nature is really beautiful. It's it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. Music is a big part of the game. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's awesome, he's a genius. can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. 
Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. See you in KCDT. Guys, <laughs> I yeah, I can't even speak. I think I'm in love. <laughs> it was just perfect. It was perfect, perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. My favorite characters. I love uh, that they added some new weapons like crossbows. Uh, firearms, like I think, yep, yep, Ooh. that was nice. Uh, I hope they added some more interaction with uh, your mount, horse, and probably dog. I don't know. I, I'm curious, will we re uh, return or have characters returning from Kingdom Come Deliverance 1? Besides, uh Sir Hans and Henry. I forgot Henry. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna end up meeting Sir Hanush. Absolute legend, Sir Hanush. Or I don't know, someone like. I, I doubt that we end up meeting someone like Father Godwin again. But I don't know. Anush was legendary. <laughs> but I know uh, we saw uh, Mark Ward, Von Aulitz, and what was the, the guy's name? Um, Sir Ishwan Toth. We saw them. I, I'm curious. Maybe we end up meeting either Sigismund or Wenceslas. It's gonna be great. I'm really dying to explore, uh, where was it? Gutenberg. Give me the city. One map is taking place. Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Outskirts and... Gutenberg. Yeah, I'm waiting for Gutenberg. Just look at this. It's like red height times four or five. And the map is going to be twice as big. It's going to be fantastic. I know it. And I think in one or two scenes, I saw something like Andrew was crafting a sword or something. I don't know if they added crafting to the game. Not 100% sure. But I hope they added some uh, basic form at least. Like daggers, maybe. Hmm. Maybe swords. I really hope so. I'm really hyped to it, guys. Uh, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely 100% I'm gonna play this game on the channel. And I will probably gonna start a new playthrough of the first game. I'm gonna 100% the first game on the channel. Then we're going to the second one. It's gonna be legendary. I'm ready. I'm ready for the game. I'm curious to know your opinions too. Uh, comment down below if you like the game. Have you played the first game? How do you feel about the reveal of the second one? And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And see you in the next one, guys. And for the last time, Jesus Christ be raised. Let's go.